Saturn V Quarterly Film Report Number 10 covers progress during the period March, April, May, 1965. Development, manufacturing, and testing of S1C stage components by the Boeing Company and the Marshall Center continued throughout the quarter. Following installation of the S1CT static firing stage on March 1st in Marshall's new S1C static test stand, structural load testing of the vehicle's thrust structure was successfully performed. Propellant load testing of the S1CT was then conducted in preparation for its initial firing. Installation of the stage's five F1 engines, completed on March 30th, was accomplished in three days. On April 10th, approximately two months ahead of schedule, a 16-second static test of the S1CT center engine was successfully conducted with no major problems encountered. Two attempts on the previous day had failed to meet test requirements. After an analysis of performance data from the single engine firing, a decision was made to test all five F1 engines. On April 16th, a Saturn V program major milestone was attained with a fully successful five engine static firing for a duration of six and a half seconds. Total thrust of seven and a half million pounds was developed. Over 1,000 measurements of the S1CT's performance were made and recorded in the blockhouse, located some 800 feet from the test stand. A second successful five-engine firing was held on May 6th, this time for 15 seconds. On May 20th, a 40-second test was conducted, during which the four outboard engines were gimbaled. Early next quarter, a one-and-a-half-minute test is scheduled, and then a two-and-a-half-minute, or full-duration, static firing. In Marshall's load test tower, testing of the fuel tank thrust structure assembly for the S1CS structural test stage was begun this quarter. The tests performed to date have been successful. Testing will continue for the next several months. The S1CS LOX tank was completed March 11th and placed in storage for future structural testing. Assembly of S1C1, the first flight stage, moved steadily toward completion. After the fuel tank and thrust structure were mated in the VAB, the unit was transferred to the horizontal assembly area. Following completion of the intertank LOX tank forward skirt assembly, slated for June, horizontal mating of the two units will be accomplished. Fabrication and assembly of S1C2, the second flight stage, included completion and mating of the fuel tank halves, plus completion of LOX tank bulkheads. At Marshall's Michoud operations in New Orleans, the Boeing Company continued with its assembly of the dynamic test stage, S1CD, the first S1C stage to be manufactured there. In March, the S1CD thrust structure was installed in Michoud's newly operational vertical assembly building. Following completion of fuel tank hydrostatic testing, vertical assembly of the S1CD continued with stacking of the fuel tank and the inner tank on the thrust structure. The four helium bottles for pressurizing the fuel tank were installed in the LOX tank in April. The LOX tank was assembled on April 18th in the VAB with mating of the lower and upper halves. During the quarter, Boeing continued work on S1CF, facilities checkout stage, and began assembly of S1C2, the first flight stage to be built at Michoud with initial bulkhead welding. At Michoud's new stage test facility, computer and telemetry equipment have been installed in the support section. The equipment will be used to obtain and evaluate information from the various S1C systems being tested under simulated flight conditions.
The first S2 stage five engine cluster ignition test was successfully conducted on April 24th at Santa Susana Field Laboratory. The five second test consisted of battleship LH2 tank preconditioning, loading of propellants to prescribed levels, preconditioning of engines and related systems, and performing the engine start sequence through the ignition phase. A prime test objective was verification of the proper sequence of J2 engine cluster operation. All test objectives were successfully achieved. On May 1st, a 10 second cluster main stage test was attempted, but was terminated prematurely after one second. An ignition detected signal was not received from the number three engine and cutoff occurred automatically. On May 7th at Santa Susana, a completely successful 10 second cluster firing of the five J2 engines of the battleship stage marked the attainment of a major program milestone by the S2 prime contractor, North American Aviation Space and Information Systems Division. Test objectives included preconditioning of the battleship LH2 tank, the engines, and related systems. Structural testing of the S2SD structural test dynamic test stage got underway on March 22nd with engine thrust load tests on the thrust structure. Upon completion of this series of tests, body load tests will be conducted. At SNID's Seal Beach facility, the S2 common bulkhead test tank was successfully hydrostat tested in March and returned to the vertical assembly building where assembly was completed on May 26th. The CBTT was then shipped to Santa Susana, where the test program is scheduled to begin next quarter. A major milestone was reached with completion of structural buildup of the all systems stage at the Seal Beach Vertical Assembly Building on May 26th. High pressure pneumatic testing of the LH2 and LOX tanks was completed next day and the stage was transferred to Station 2 for systems installation. The S2F thrust structure this quarter became the first completed major subassembly for the facility's checkout stage. Structural assembly was begun on April 5th. Fabrication and assembly of the first S2 flight stage, S21, continued this quarter with the initial insulation bonding operation on LH2 tank cylinder number four. Fabrication of the common bulkhead and assembly of the quarter panels for the thrust structure. In SNID's electromechanical mock-up control room at Downey, S2 stage automatic checkout equipment installation is now complete and stage and GSE integration is being accomplished. GSE and stage integration in the local control mode was completed on April 29th. Development testing of the eight solid propellant Ullage rocket motors, which will be mounted on the S2 interstage structure, is underway at Rocketdyne's McGregor, Texas facility. During Saturn V flights, these motors will be fired simultaneously at the instant the S1C stage's engines are shut down. The S-4B facilities checkout stage, which was installed in beta test stand number three at Douglas Aircraft Company's Sacramento test facility late last quarter, underwent successful propellant loading tests in both manual and semi-automatic modes during this report period. It was the first loading of cryogenic propellants into a flight type S-4B with more than 100 tons of liquid hydrogen at minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit and liquid oxygen at 297 degrees being pumped into the stage. Workability of test stand equipment and compatibility of stage and stand were proved out successfully by the tests. Also at SACTO, the S-4B battleship test program continued this quarter in beta test stand number one. With the completion of Saturn 1B development firings in mid-May, the battleship stage is being equipped with a Saturn V configuration J2 engine, and Saturn V testing will begin next quarter. 
Construction of the vertical checkout lab progressed during the report period, with erection of structural steel being accomplished. At Douglas's Huntington Beach plant, joining of the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen tanks for the S4B501, the first Saturn V flight stage, was completed and the stage was hydrostatically tested. The stage was then moved into the cleaning tower for cleaning operations prior to installation of propellant tank insulation. Fabrication and assembly of components for S4B-502, the second Saturn V flight stage, moved steadily ahead. Qualification testing of stage components, such as this umbilical disconnect, continued at Santa Monica. At Air Research's test facility in Phoenix, Arizona, Qualification testing of the fuel feed duct was conducted by the Douglas subcontractor. Structural testing, such as this LOX tank water pressure test, was also underway at Douglas's Space Systems Center at Huntington Beach. At the Marshall Center, the first J-2 engine to be delivered there by Rocketdyne was installed in the newly completed S-4B battleship test stand in April. Initial static firings will be for the Saturn 1B program. The stand will be used later for the Saturn 5 program. By the end of April, thermal insulation had been installed on engine number 14-1 at Edwards Field Laboratory. Extended hold tests were then conducted by dropping locks and fuel to the main propellant valves and monitoring ambient air temperatures and component skin temperatures inside the cocoon. Several fabricated electrical interface panels were built and tested during the quarter. These panels are constructed of machined parts and formed sheet metal parts bolted together. The testing procedure was similar to that used on the cast version. Preliminary analysis of test data indicates that the fabricated panel is structurally adequate for maximum flight loads. A teardown display for engineering examination and inspection of engine number 2006 at Rocketdyne's Canoga Park plant marked formal completion of the flight rating test phase of the F-1 program. The engine had been static fired in the FRT calibration series at Edwards. At the Marshall Center, the first F-1 engine for the first S-1C flight stage was delivered by Rocketdyne in March and is now undergoing minor modification work. The first J-2 engine liquid oxygen turbo pump to be assembled at Rocketdyne's Neosho, Missouri plant was completed in March. Transfer of this component fabrication operation to Neosho was made to take advantage of manufacturing facilities there and to relieve the workload in the turbo machinery area at Rocketdyne's Canoga Park, California plant. After calibration of the Neosho facility's newly operational balancing machine, temporary balancing of the J-2 LOX impeller was accomplished using beeswax weights. Metal is later removed from the impeller at points opposite to the weights to produce a balanced component. The last of five J-2 engines for various phases of the S-4B battleship test program was delivered to Douglas, Sacramento on May 1st. This engine, which is of the Saturn V flight vehicle configuration, possesses a restart capability. A total of six successful malfunction tests were performed at Santa Susana this quarter as part of requirements for the J-2 flight rating test program. The engine was deliberately fired with various malfunctions to determine the effect on performance and to see if a safe shutdown could be accomplished. FRT engine number 2023 was acceptance tested and the formal FRT program was begun in May, following electrical and mechanical checkout of the engine on the stand. FRT will be completed by June 30th.